Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. That's why I have this weird accent. And now we will make this effect. Let's get started. A lot of you are asked me to make a tutorial on Iron Fist effect. As you know, I want to make unique tutorials on my channel, but this Iron Fist effect involves technique which already covered in video copilot tutorials. But I also realize that on YouTube, people who doesn't know site video copilot, they are just typing in search like Iron Fist effect, and they seems to not find any good results. So I decided to fill this request and make tutorial on my channel. First, I wrote to video copilot team to check with them if it's all right to use their technique. So I said that uh, I have a channel on YouTube and I was wondering could I use some techniques of their tutorial. And they replied me, hey Jake, for sure, thanks for checking with us first. So I have the permission to make tutorial on Iron Fist effect using their technique. Also, if you want to check what tutorials they making, visit this site videocopilot.net. They have lots of high quality After Effects tutorials and also have great products for sale. So links to this site will be in description. So first let's import our footage. This raw footage is also in description below. Go to File, Import, File. Select your footage and click Import. Then left mouse click and drag on this icon here to create new composition. You can also shoot your video on your own. For more believable effect I recommend to have a flashlight in your hand. So you would have this kind of glow on your hand. It will definitely help with this effect. But for now we have this footage and let's work with it. So first let's track our hand. This time I'm gonna use Mocha, which comes with After Effects. Select your layer, go to Animation and choose Track in Mocha AE. Click on this, click OK. Left mouse click and drag, this time cursor to very end. And then choose this Create Bezier Layer Tool. So basically you are selecting the area which needs to be tracked. When you close to your spline, you can adjust your points, if you need. We do this on the very last frame, because I have my fist already closed. So when you're tracking your video, make sure to select tracking area in this kind of position of your hand. So now let's click on this button here. It will track backwards. So here you need to wait until this automatic process will be complete. I should say that this part of process you can make in any version of Mocha AE. Interface could be different, but main buttons which we are using will be there. So just simply look for similar icons. So tracking is complete. Now you need to click on this icon here. As you can see from description, it push the surface to the corners of your frame. In older versions of Mocha AE, this button called Align Surface. So you need to click on this and then go to export data and click on this export tracking data. So let's left mouse click here and here from scroll down menu let's choose this After Effects corner pin support motion blur dot txt and then click on this copy to clipboard. Now let's go back to After Effects, create new solid, go to layer, new, solid. Let's call it tracking and click OK. Select the solid and press Ctrl V. Let's also apply grid effect. Click and drag on this solid here. And now we can see that tracking is good. Let's shut this layer off and let's work with our footage. If you're shooting your own footage, I recommend to have a proper exposure. So you must not have these kinds of white spots, especially on your hand. You need to have as much details on your hand as possible. My footage still is pretty bright. So let's go to effect, color correction, curves. In green channel let's add some green, in blue channel let's make it a little bit warmer like this and bring up so we would have this kind of color. And in RGB channel let's make this S shape. Also let's go to effect, color correction curves and make this a lot darker. As you know this effect involves some energy which glows in our hand. So all scenes should be more darker that we will see this glow much better. Let's also add some vignette, go to layer, new solid make it black and let's also call it vignette okay and using this ellipse tool let's draw a mask like this so our goal here is select the area where our fist is glowing then let's change mask mode to subtract and press f on keyboard and set it to about 750 let's also open here and play with this expansion to have a better look okay this looks good 
Now press T on keyboard to adjust our intensity. So now we bring focus of our viewer to our hand. Now let's create new solid, go to layer, new, solid. Let's call it fractal noise. This effect we will use, ok? And here type fractal noise. Let's change fractal type to dynamic. Complexity let's set it to 10. And in transform let's change scale to about 250. And let's also animate our evolution. Press Alt key on keyboard, hold it and then left mouse click on this stopwatch. It allows you to write expression. Here type time multiply 100 and click anywhere. So now we have this kind of animation. Ok it looks good. So this is basically energy in our hand. And now we need some veins to have here. So we would see some stuff under our skin. Go to file, import, file. These two images will be in description below. Let's select both of them and click import. And now let's drag veins light. So here I have some veins and in this picture here, if you want to have a lot more veins, you can use this image here. I will go with veins light. Let's shut this layer off and select this fractal noise. Make sure to select this fractal noise and then select this pen tool here. Then move your time cursor to this very last frame and select the area where you want to see your energy glow. It should look something like this. Then select this layer, press shift on keyboard and select this other one with the veins. And go to layer, precompose. Let's call it veins. So by clicking OK, we will make these both layers into one layer. As you can see, now we have this one layer which is called veins. If we double click on this layer, we will see our two layers here. Let's enable them. And now select this fractal noise layer. Click on toggle switch to see track matte, if you don't see it. And then select here luma matte. So now by selecting this layer here, veins light, you can choose the selection tool here and adjust position of your veins as you like. You can also press R on keyboard and change rotation. I will set rotation to 0 and move it like this. Then select this fractal noise and press F on keyboard to feather these edges. Let's set it to 100 and let's open this mask here. Close and open. And with this expansion let's bring down our edges. So this energy would not fall out our edges. Ok it looks good. Let's go back to our Iron Fist footage. Now move your time cursor to very first frame, like this. Select this tracking layer and then select this corner pin effect. Press Ctrl C on keyboard to copy and then select this veins layer. And now press Ctrl V to paste. If you press U on keyboard, you will see all of these keyframes from tracking. Now we need to parent our layer to this tracking layer. But now as you can see it not in right place. So let's move our tank cursor to very last frame. Now it looks all good. Click on this pick whip here and drag it to this tracking layer. As you can see now it's stuck to right place and looks great. Now we need to color grade our veins. Go to veins layer. To color grade these veins we need to have black background. As you can see here is transparent. So let's go to layer, new, solid. Let's call it background, make it black and click OK. Drag it down and now we have this black background. Let's go back to Iron Fist footage and then click on this toggle switch here and change mode to color dodge. Let's also go to effect, color correction, curves. So now we are going to color grade our veins. Let's go to red channel, make it reddish. In blue channel let's make it warmer. And in green channel let's make S curve, like this. Let's also go to RGB channel and let's make it brighter. If we come back to veins composition and switch off this background layer, we can see that we have some problems with color grading. So let's go back to veins layer and let's enable this black solid. Go back to iron fist footage. It looks great. And now let's duplicate this layer. Select it and press Ctrl D on keyboard to duplicate. Now let's go to effect, blur, fast blur. And here let's set it to about 250. As you can see we add some glow. You can also press T on keyboard to adjust intensity of this glow. I'll set it to 75 and let's select both of these layers. Press shift on keyboard, select this other one. Then press T on keyboard to see intensity of both of these layers. And about here let's set a keyframe. 
by clicking on this stopwatch here and here and here at the beginning let's set it to 25 so it would look like I am collecting this energy you can also adjust these internal organs so for example I want to have here some bones which blocks the energy light it is very easy to do let's go to veins composition make sure that you are not selecting any of these layers click somewhere here and then select this pen tool here and let's draw a bone you can disable this stroke click here and click on this icon here and then ok and fill set it to black go to effect blurring sharpen and fast blur or gaussian blur let's blur this a bit and let's see a result as you can see it doesn't match my bone it should be more to the right let's adjust it select this pen tool here and adjust position like this let's check again it looks much better you can also go back here and press ctrl d on keyboard to duplicate and with this selection tool here you can move it over here also press r on keyboard to rotate like this and create another bone let's see result and you can repeat these steps to each of your knuckles and also add anything you want maybe even logo of your channel so let's preview this so I guess it's good time to say thank you to Video Copilot for all the knowledge base and also for letting me use some of their techniques in this tutorial. Also I recommend to check this site, they have After Effects templates, even few items for free. For example they have this free music, I think it has a great mood for some short film, as also they have this free After Effects template. All links to free stuff is in description. I hope you like this effect, uh, make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.